class rudder. As you can see, the rudder hinge line is quite acute. So, to keep that steering going, and keeping it as close to the underside of the deck as possible to stop water coming in, here you can see the rudder post coming out. There, that carries on down. It goes on to this metal horn here, um, which is locked onto the rudder with this grub screw there. Here I have metal trace, just hooked around the rudder and secured, which goes down through this little sheave here. And that gives me a good angle. I can't really show it though, because the camera won't get in there. I'll try again. You see what I mean? It gives the right kind of angle a dangle for the rudder horn when it's moving. If you watch, full, same the other side. Anyhow, wire runs down through this turnaround sheave that's set into the after the hull. It then runs forwards into this contraption where it runs around the outside. You can see it coming in and it locks with that little grub screw there. It carries on around one more turn again, comes out, back up through this turnaround pulley, up through the rudder arm, and I've got adjustment there so that I can uh, tension up the system, but as you can see, the system has got pretty good tension. Anyhow, this from here backwards is the rudder, and the servo is just separate completely. So I can turn, and it keeps everything clean um, and movement free. It's a, you know, a, a solid, solid movement. See what I mean? There's no play. It's, uh, is, and it means that I can actually put my rudder wherever I wanted to, but as it stands, I want to stick my rudder servo right where it is. And that is, I'm just trying to see if you can see that tension thing. You know, it's a couple of lines, one come in the top, around the front, out the bottom, and back out the back. See how it goes. Okay, that is mine.